The recent announcement for the Max Payne remakes has got me itching to play the original, especially as it's looking like the release date isn't going to be until 2026, which just so happens to be Max Payne's 25th anniversary, and they'll be stupid not to release it in that year. So until then, we're going to mod the original PC version so it A actually works in modern systems and B bring it into the modern era with widescreen and HD textures. And if you're an NVIDIA card user, there's some extra stuff we can change in the control panel settings to make it look as good as possible, pretty much to the point of an official remaster. Now usually, modding a PC game can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Figuring out which mods are best, which executables you need, it can be a total minefield. But every now and then, someone comes along and saves everybody the headache. A Steam user known as DarkJE has collected all of the best mods for Max Payne into one place, and created an installer for them, so you can't get it wrong. Of course, I'm still going to be showing you how to get this installed step by step, what the best settings are depending on your hardware, and if you're an NVIDIA graphics card user, what we can change to take things to the limit. So to begin with, of course, you're going to need a copy of Max Payne, and Max Payne 1 and 2 are available on Steam individually or as a bundle. However, these mods will still work with original non-Steam copies of the game. So if you've got one of those, it's time to break it out. Then you actually need to download the mod, and I'll put a link for this Steam page in the description below. And if you take a look at this page, you can see there's a full list of every single mod that's been put in one place, along with their source links. So if you want to check exactly what's been done, give this a good read. But if we scroll down a little bit, we've got our download links. Once you've got that downloaded, of course you're going to need to make sure you've actually installed Max Payne. Whether that be through Steam, your original copy, or if it is in a zip folder for any reason, make sure that you unzip it. Once you've got that installed, all you need to do is launch the Fix Pack EXE that you downloaded from that Steam page. And the very first thing that we need to do here is select the Max Payne game folder. If you're a Steam user, that could be in one of two locations. If you've installed the original version, it should be in your program files. And if you're using a different version, it should be in a custom location. So all you need to do is press on this browse button, select the Max Payne folder, and then just press on OK. Then just hit next. You definitely want to be installing all of these components and leaving everything as is, except for the EXE. If you're using a Steam version, make sure you select the EXE for the Steam version, and if you're using an original version, select the EXE for the CD version. Then just press next. Then just press next to this, and then press install. In terms of install, that is literally everything. So now we can move on to configuring this for the best possible image. So you need to launch your Max Payne executable. And if you're on a Steam version, there will be a Steam specific EXE. So launch that and it should come up with this configuration box. You need to make sure that your main GPU is selected here. Your screen resolution is set here and that this is set to hardware acceleration, not software. Now what you need to do is click on this options button in the top right hand corner and make sure that you copy exactly what you see on screen now. Now there are a couple of options that you may want to change from here depending on your hardware. So these texture options are set to medium for a reason. So if you've got a two gig graphics card or less, you need to leave them on medium. But if you've got a three gig card or more, you can set all of them to high if you want to. Now the native anti-aliasing for this game does need a bit of a disclaimer. It can be hit and miss, so sometimes it's not going to work at all, and even if it does work, you can get those weird white lines appear on texture edges, which is totally fixable, but only if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. So if you don't have an NVIDIA card, set this to 8 samples or whatever your performance can handle, and unfortunately you'll just have to deal with those issues. But if you do have an NVIDIA card, set this to two samples. Because we're going to be doing some additional tweaks in the NVIDIA control panel and with the NVIDIA profile inspector. Before I show you how to do that, there's one more thing that we need to adjust, but in the actual in-game options. So just press OK to get rid of this box and then hit play to actually start the game. Then just press escape or enter to load up the main menu. Wait for that to load up. And then you want to go into options, go into video, and then change the texture sharpness all the way up to high. Now, if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, that is the end of the modding process. Now you can just go ahead and start the game. But if you do have an NVIDIA card, make sure that you back out of this and start the control panel up. So you want to start your NVIDIA control panel up and then go into manage 3D settings. Now we want to change some of these, but for only the Max Payne executable. So you want to go into the program settings tab just here and then click on this add button. Select your Max Payne executable and then click on add selected program. Now any changes that we make will be specific to this executable. 
Just make sure that you're selecting the correct executable. So we're gonna change the anisotropic filtering all the way up to time 16. We're gonna go into the anti-aliasing mode and change this to enhance the application setting. Anti-aliasing setting, we're gonna set this as high as our performance would allow and the same with the anti-aliasing transparency. Then scroll all the way down to texture filtering quality and change this to high quality. Then hit apply. Now there's one more thing that we need to do with anti-aliasing, but we can only do it with the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. And if you don't already have that, I'll put a download link for it in the description below. Of course, once you've downloaded that, you need to unzip it. Then you wanna right click on the Inspector EXE and run it as administrator. Now we need to find the Max Payne profile in amongst this great big massive list of profiles. So this might take you a minute to find it. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. Come on, Max Payne, where are you? Pretty sure I'm looking straight at it. There we go, Max Payne. Then you wanna scroll down to section three in the actual options, which is anti-aliasing. And you should have anti-aliasing setting, and we want to change this to four x four super sampling for direct 3D only. Select that, then just hit apply changes. Then you can just close it down. As you can see by doing this, we're fixing that white line issue with anti-aliasing. We're also enjoying much better anisotropic filtering and texture loading distances, with everything remaining sharp and legible all the way into the distance. There we go, that was my mod guide for the original Max Payne to get it looking like an official remaster. Definitely want to go back and play to remind yourself of the tragedy, and the fact that John Wick really ain't got nothing on Max Payne.